So I got a comment on one of my review videos. The person was like, your video is making me want to marry and keep pep and, you know, use all those products. <laughs> it got me cracking. I mean, because of my review, you want to marry. <laughs> so that's why you should share my videos, okay? Because you don't know whether if your fiance sees this my review, he will just propose. Who knows? <laughs> we have the baby here. I want to talk about okay let me put out uh, let me put out a disclaimer guys it is not a paid advert my review is typically telling you guys all my experiences what I think about a product if there is any reaction on my own baby yes because there might be a reaction on my baby but there won't be a reaction on your baby okay so that's what my review is all about. It's not a paid product, but if you can sponsor any of our reviews, who am I, okay? As long as your product is nice, because I cannot bring a Jiboroja for my subscribers. Yeah, I cannot. A Jiboroja is fake. This is what we do here. Yes, if you are seeing me for the first time, we do review, we review baby products, diaper, food, milk, Yes, and we also do some food, baby food recipes that your baby will love. Healthy food, yes, emphasis on healthy homemade food. So, in today's video, I want to talk about this. Uh, sometime earlier last year, not earlier last year, because I've given birth. Let me say, sometime nine months ago, I did a review on this exotic, yeah. It's a beautiful product and one thing that always attracts me to exotic is that it is affordable. Don't worry, I'm going to talk about the price later in this video and also the things I do not like about the product. Yes, no product is 100% perfect. Of course, I have them. I have everything, you know, written on my book. This is my YouTube book. So that's I don't forget any points, okay? So the first thing on my list is that it lathers very well on a waffle, extra foamy. Just a little goes a long way. Sometimes I even see myself rinsing out the soap in the swan that I've said, Ay! Oh, I've done this mistake again as I've just put just little and wasted soap. Mm -hmm. So that's to tell you how much it lathers. The availability. Is another thing that I love about the soap like it is becoming available in the Nigerian market it's not like Chico I will call the name Chico is scarce damn scarce this one is available at the moment like everywhere you go if you, if you don't see the bath the baby bath you will see baby diaper it has baby diaper it has the um, lotion and it has this one it has, okay, it's not baby diaper, sorry, baby wipes. It has baby wipes, baby lotion, and baby bath. That's the three I've seen so far. So it's everywhere in Nigerian market. It is the affordability that made me to choose it. This baby bath is so, so affordable. This quantity here you are seeing here is 750 mil, and it goes for... 2,800 Naira only, only 2,800 Naira in the supermarket, yeah, supermarket, that means if I'm to go into the main, main you know, market, I might get it for 2,000 or 2,500, yes, that is how affordable the exotic baby bath is, and that is one thing that attracted me to it, uh, in as well as it filled in somewhere I will talk about it. Just keep watching. So if you have watched up to here, if you have given this video a thumbs, thumbs up, that means you are enjoying the video. Mm. So give the video a thumbs up. Yeah. Apart from it being clinically tested, hypoallergenic, hypoallergenic means it's not going to react badly on your baby skin. Even if your baby has sensitive skin, that means a baby that has sensitive skin can use it. That's what it means by um, hypoallergenic it is clinically tested so apart from all those ones this one is 
tear free look at it guys no tears i just hope this thing focuses focus focus that is to say if you are using it on your baby and maybe you know soap they enter our eyes with the bath yes even if this soap enters your baby's eye your baby is not going to scream <coughs> my eye, my eye, you know it is that's what it means by no tears okay? no tears bath foam and truly it is no tears bath foam then the fragrance is Heavenly, I don't know whether it is because of my preferred choice, but the fragrance is lovely. It's that fragrance that after bathing in your bathroom and you leave it and you leave the bathroom and come back later, like not after one hour, like let me say 10 minutes, you still, you know, feel the beautiful fragrance all over your room, all over your bathroom. Yes, but it will not last more than 10 minutes or so, mm -mm. I'll be like, if I tell it to last more than 10 minutes. So it is just within 10 minutes, just perceive the fragrance that, oh, someone just showered with a beautiful uh, baby bath. So far, so good. I use it for my eight, I'm eight months. Okay, today is 21st, second, yeah. Her baby is going to be nine months in, uh, in by tomorrow. Yeah, so he's nine months. <laughs> I use it for my nine months old baby. I use it for my five years old baby. Okay, he's four years plus, but by June he'll be five. Ah, all of that enjoy. I use it for my five years old baby. I use it for my three years old baby. As in, no reaction, no rashes, no eczema, nothing for now. And we've been using it for like roughly two weeks plus. Yes, we've been, even me, I, I also joined them to use it. Mm. So, going to things I do not like about the product, yes. Um, the first thing I do not like about the product is that it is not cream based. If you have been watching my review, you will understand. If you have been, okay, this is my phone pack. I want to show you guys in, in case you don't know what it means for your soap to be cream based. I'm going to show you guys later. So, if you have been watching my review, I'm a big fan of cream based um soap liquid soap baby bath reason because i feel the cream based ones are more silky and soft on the skin that doesn't mean that the gel based is not all that so but i feel my own opinion that the cream base is more silky more hydrating more moisturizing the cream based soap and above all you can use it for your baby's hair the cream based baby bath you can comfortably use it on baby's hair without it cutting off and but the gel based after using it for your baby's hair you just find out that your baby's hair is kind of like cream which english word do i use it dries it off but not like dry dry but it doesn't moisturize it it doesn't hydrate the hair so that is the only thing i do not like about it it might be my own observation okay so this is what i mean by it is gel gel means this is my phone pack okay <laughs> gel knows that um it is colorless i don't know whether you guys are seeing it yeah it's just like ah ah it is colorless but if it is cream based, you see it is it looks like whitish in color, like it lo it looks like a cream. Yeah, so this one is gel based. It's very good and soft on your baby's skin, but using it for your baby's hair, it, uh, it will give that baby's hair or feel like as if the baby's hair is cutting off. Your baby is losing of it. Um, I don't know how to explain, but I know you understand it, okay? <laughs> this babe exotic is gel based it is not cream based okay but i can still manage it i love it i love it that way <laughs> so the next thing um, i do not like about the soap is the packaging mm. this is from my own preferred um opinion and choice yes the packaging is what i do not love it is beautiful isn't it 
you can travel with this and it's not going to spill yes for those that always travel it's not going to spill because it is you know you just open and it locks but if you're not traveling okay people like me i don't always travel so um i prefer the pump the one that has pump because when you are bathing all these children you know especially when you are bathing a baby they are always restless when they are bathing i don't know whether it's my baby baby is always like do fast come shave up or like do fast let me leave here so the pump is always you know easy for me to press walk along with his speed pump is always what i prefer whenever i'm buying a a baby bath that's one of the reasons why i enjoy the chico soap it has the pump but the only disadvantage is that the pump if you're traveling with it um if you are not careful it might just peel before you reach your destination but this one if you just lock it it's always like this okay so i think it's just personal preference anyways so apart from that um, the next thing no parabens no sls okay sls is like a hash yes you know i don't know whether i've shared it in this um um in this my channel apart from you know doing all these motherhood things i love doing diy one of my old videos i used to it was i think that, was, that should be a story time video but let me just share when i first came into the city in that's uyo i stay in uyo i i the first thing i learned was how to make liquid soap you know all those liquid soap they use washing plates they use washing car mopping floor yes i used to do it okay so this sls is one of the ingredients you use in making those um, soups and I think the function you know you don't tell since I married I just packed everything because I don't want my children running around chemicals and all those things so I think the SLS is is a cleaning agent yes it's that ingredient that makes sure that um, it washes off like cleans off, uh, off everything so and it is very harsh yes so they said no parabens, SLS, and all those things. It is alcohol free. All those things means parabens means um, is an ingredient that preserves the soup. I heard it is harmful to children's skin, so they don't have it. So it's a win-win. Hypoallergenic, yes. You know, that's it is designed for children that are likely to have sensitive skin. That is sensitive skin children can use it. Mm, that's what it means yeah so so far so so good i'll rate this baby bath 8 over 10 yeah 8 over 10 so have you used this exotic baby bath before what was your experience with it or have you used any exotic products do you love it did your children encounter any form of reaction while using it drop it in the comment section and I'll see you guys in my next video. I enjoyed shooting this video. So please, if you watch up here, give it a thumbs up. Click on the red subscribe button to join this family. And I'll see you guys in my next video. So for now, bye bye. I'm shooting with the back camera. What if I start shooting this and I see that it's not recorded? <laughs>